Thank you for the cross. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. How are you all doing? It's your dear beloved sister Janice here again. I'm here to greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus. Our soon coming king. Yes, our soon coming king. My dear beloved brothers and sisters, I'm just here just to share the word of God with you this morning. And I just want to say that Jesus love you all. Jesus love us with an unconditional love. How great is our God this morning. How great is his name. He give us life again for a new day. We are in our sound mind. We are still breathing this morning. We can still move about. We just want to say thank you, Lord, for your goodness and your mercy and your grace towards us. My dear beloved brothers and sister, boys and girls who is listening to me under the sound of my voice, I just want to say this morning, I greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus, our soon coming King. I just want to share a uh, scripture with you this morning from the book of Joel 3, chapter 3 from verse 1 to 3 and then I'm going to take it from verse 14 to 18 and this is the word of God that the word the Lord have given to me yesterday. I want to share it with you. I just want to say to you to anyone who is listening to me, you not yet accept the Lord as your personal Savior. Now is the appointed time because Jesus Christ is coming again. He's surely coming and he said he will, he will be coming like a thief in the night. None of us know the minute nor the hour when the Son of Man coming. Because if we know when the thief coming... We would be prepared for the thief. But because we don't know when the thief come in, we don't make any preparation. You see? So it's like you have all your possession, your wealth, and all of that. And you have them in your house for your own convenience, for your own purpose. And the thief come and thief everything. Stole everything. In Jamaica, we would say thief. But in proper English, we said stole everything. So, if we know that the thief is coming, we're going to make preparation. You understand? Why not we make preparation now for the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ? Why not us repent of our sins and turn from our wicked ways and give our life to the Lord? Because whether we believe it, yes or no, Jesus is coming back again. I know people is saying that you have so much preacher and you have so much this and you have so much that. But the Lord have his people who he is talking to. He had his people that he sent to warn his children. It's just like Noah. When Noah was warning, nobody would have taken heed and listened to Noah. They mocked him. They say all different kind of things about Noah. Until the day when the Lord decided that enough is enough and I'm going to put in my appearance. When the Lord closed the door of the ark and when they come beating down the door, Father Noah, Father Noah, let me in. Noah couldn't have opened the door because Noah did not close the door. It was God who closed the door. So the door is about to close, my dear beloved brother and sister. Let's get in the ark of God. And I'm telling you this morning, this from the depths of my heart and from the bottom of my soul. And this is not my word. For I speak no word of myself, but the word I speak, it's from the throne of God. Jesus Christ is coming again. Prepare yourself to meet the bride. The bridegroom is coming. Prepare yourself to meet the bridegroom as a bride. Because Jesus Christ is coming again. I just want to tell you this morning, my dear beloved. You know, when the Lord speak to me, I just want to share it. I wish, you know, I could see everyone in front of me to share it the way how I want to share this word. But nevertheless, let's read 
from the book of Joel this morning and see what you can get there. The understanding of the word of God and how you can use it in your life to get in the ark of God. God is coming again. Let's repent of our sins, confess to God, surrender unto God and give our life to him. The only way, the truth and the life this morning can we sing a little song i dearly love this song and i can forever sing it because it's always in my heart i am not a very good singer but i love singing the song said empty and broken i came back to him a vessel unworthy I'm so scarred with sin. But he did not despair. He started all over again. And God blessed the day. He did throw the clay away. Over and over he molds me and makes me into his likeness. He fashioned the clay, a vessel of honor I am today. And all because Jesus he did throw the clay away. A vessel of honor I am today. And all because Jesus did throw the clay away. He is the potter. And I am the clay, molding in his image. He want me to stay, but he did not despair. He started all over again, and God blessed the day. He did throw the clay away and god bless the day he did throw the clay away hallelujah jesus empty and broken i came back to him a vessel unworthy i'm so scarred with sin but he did not despair. He started all over again. And God blessed the day. He did not throw the clay away. Over and over. He molds me and make me. My dear beloved brother and sister. Are you willing. For Jesus to mold you. And make you again. My dear beloved sister and brother. Are you willing for Jesus. To fashion you again? Can you surrender to him? Repent and give your life to the Lord again? And allow him to mold you and make you in his image again? God bless you my dear beloved brother. I'm just going to say a few words of prayer. And let's just move on to the word of God. Father we thank you this morning. We give you praise. Lord we adore you. We appreciate you. We exalt you. We crown you as our king of king. And our lord of lord. There is none like you this morning God. You are alpha. You are amigo. You are the beginning and the end. You are God and God alone. This morning God as we come before your present lord. You are the potter and we are the clay. Mighty God we ask you to mold us in your image this morning God. For there you want us to stay. Father God. 
God, as we come before you, we place ourselves in your hands. Mighty God, each and every one on this prayer line this morning, God, I place them at your mercy seat. I place myself at your mercy seat this morning, God, and I pray this morning, Lord, that your will will be done in us. You will have your way in us this morning, God. Speak to our heart, mind, soul, spirit, and body, Lord Jesus. Let us know, Lord God, at redemption joy at night. If ever we need you, Lord, we need you now. It's time to surrender, Lord God. Repent of our sins, Lord God. Be baptized and live for you, Jesus. This morning, God, I give this word, O oh God, which is your your word in your hands. Father God, I pray that the word, oh God, that we read this morning, it will cut our heart sharp as a two-edged sword. Father God, as you say, thy word have I hid in our heart that we may sin not. Let we heed your word in our heart this morning, I pray, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, have your way among us this morning, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you, my dear beloved brother. This is the day that the Lord had made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. As you can see, it's a beautiful day outside and we give the Lord thanks. God bless you. So this was the word that the Lord gave me yesterday. And I just want to share it with you. And I'm going to take it from Joel chapter 3. And I'm going to read from verse 1. For behold, in those days and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judea and Jerusalem. Bring again the captivity from Judea and Jerusalem. I will also gather all nations. I will also gather all nations. The Lord is gathering his nation. The Lord is gathering his people. Get yourself in the ark. The ark is getting ready praise be to god and i will bring them down into the valley of jehoshaphat and will plea with them there for my people and for my heritage israel he's gonna plead for his people and for israel mighty god whom they have scattered among the nation and partake of my land. So the enemy scattered God people and partake of the land of the, the land that the Lord gave to his people. And they have cast lots for my people. Verse. 14. Multitude, multitude in the valley of decision. Multitude, multitude in the valley of decision. I pray that the word I am reading that you will get the understanding of it. The Lord is in the valley of decision. It's decision time now. The Lord is in the valley of decision. My dear beloved brother and sister, repent and give your life to the Lord before it's too late. Because the Lord is in the valley of decision. Praise be to God. For the day of the Lord is near. You hear that? Multitude, multitude in the valley of decision. For the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision, mighty God. Can you hear that, my people? Joel chapter 3, from verse 3, read 1, 2, 3, verse 14. For the day of the Lord is near. In the valley of decision. Mighty God. The sun and the moon shall be darkened. The sun and the moon shall be darkened. And the stars shall withdraw. They're shining. 
the sun and the moon shall be darkened and the star shall be withdrawn its light. The Lord also shall roar out of Zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem. And the heaven and the earth shall shake. The Lord give me this word yesterday. But the Lord will be the hope of his people. The Lord will be his hope of his people. My dear beloved brother and sister, get ready. Jesus Christ is coming again. Repent of your sins and give your life to the Lord. I am not a preacher. I am nobody. I am just somebody here, a vessel. And word is so scarred with sin. But Jesus is willing and ready to mold me and to make me and to use me to save one like you and me. And that's why I'm here telling somebody this morning. And utter his voice from Jerusalem. That is Jesus. And the heaven and the earth shall shake. But the Lord will be the hope of his people. And the strength of the children of Israel. So shall he know that I am the Lord your God. What a word. What a word. What a warning. What a calling. Mighty God of Daniel. My dear beloved brother and sister, if I read this word to you and if you read it and it don't touch your heart, I don't know what to say. But when I read this yesterday, it shake me more harder. Me I run like the woman will say, wake me Lord, shake me Lord. Don't let me sleep too late because I want to make it to heaven in due time before the heaven door close. Yes. I am talking to you, my dear beloved brother and sister, who I love so much and who God loves so much. Let's run. So shall he know that I am the Lord your God. Dwell it in Zion, my holy mountain. Then shall Jerusalem be holy and there shall no stranger pass through her anymore there shall be no stranger no wickedness no darkness no powers of darkness from the pit of hell when you save and secure in the arms of god shall do you no harm this morning the lord say multitude multitude my people the Lord is in the valley of decision. Wake up. Wake up out of your sleep and your slumber and draw nigh unto the Lord. Draw near unto God as he's drawing near unto you. It's no joke, my dear beloved brother and sister. May the Lord bless and keep you. May the Lord sustain you and preserve you. May these few words that I read this morning be a blessing to you and a blessing to your soul. May the word of God this morning cut your heart deep as a two-edged sword. As I said to you, my dear beloved, the Lord is in the valley of decision. When I read this morning in the book of Genesis 41 verse 55. And it's telling you about the famine upon the land. They sold their brother for a slave. But he was the one who only could have helped them to give them food. There's a famine coming upon the land, my dear beloved brother and sister. The Lord has shown it to me years ago and he showed it to me again. There's a famine coming 
Are you on the Lord's side so he can prepare for you? Which side are you on this morning? I am talking to you, my dear beloved brother and sister. Because if we are on the side of the Lord, we don't have to worry. Because the Lord will be our provider and our sustainer and our keeper. But if you are not on the Lord's side, what will you do? There's a famine coming. A famine, not only for food, but for the word of God. Sooner or later, you're not going to hear the word of God anywhere. So as much as you can get, take it in and run with it. And be secure under the shadow of Almighty God. May the Lord bless and keep you this morning. May you be strengthening this morning through the word that I speak. Not of myself, but through the power and the authority of Almighty God. Be blessed until you hear from me again. Your dear beloved sister Janice here. My dear beloved brother and sister, I love you. And I love you with the love of God. Shalom. Peace. God bless. Thank you for the cross.